Hello, and welcome to Art Snacks. Today we're going to do an interesting drawing that I like to call the water cycle. Okay, To draw the water cycle, I'm going to start with a big old circle. To make a big circle, I'm just going to go around in circles a few times until I have a circle that I like. Now you can always do this. Don't feel like you have to use the first circle you make. You can always go back and erase the parts that you don't like and keep the parts that you do like. It's no big deal. A lot of kids are afraid to make a mark on the page because then they're afraid they're stuck with it. Oh, forget that part. By the time you get done, no one's going to notice that first junk anyway. Okay, so here's my circle. I'll make it a little bit darker. And you might say, it's not a perfect circle. I do not care. <laughs> I am not a perfect person. It's okay. All right. Now, at the top of this, I'm going to make some clouds. Some clouds. And to make them, I'm going to shade them a little bit so they look a little more like they might rain. Here's some clouds, okay? Clouds. Over here, the sun. To make it look more like the sun, I'm just going to go like this. Doesn't have to be a perfect sun, okay? And then down here, make some mountains. There's snow on the top of the mountains, okay? And another cloud down here. There, it's sort of snowing on the mountains. Let me make some little flakes. That looks like rain. Okay. Now down here, I'll make the ocean. Okay. Now just since I'm making an ocean anyway, I'll make a couple of fish. I'll make a fish, and I'll make an octopus or a squid. Okay, we're on this side, make some land. Kind of goes up like this. I'll make a lighthouse. Remember, if I go too fast, just hit pause and then catch up. And here's the lighthouse keeper's house. It looks up here. This is the rocks here. Now, here is a waterfall going down into the ocean, making bubbles down here. Little bubbles. Now, what's going on in this picture? Let's look again. I'll make some trees back here behind all of this. Okay. Now, this thing happens with trees called evaporation. The water gets loose and goes up in the air. Evaporation also happens in the ocean, and in ponds, and in mud puddles, and in lakes. The water makes its way up, up, it goes into the clouds, and kind of collects up there for a while. And then every once in a while it comes down as rain, or snow, and goes back down to the top of the mountains, melts, comes down in a stream, and makes its way to the ocean again. Or it rains over here on the land, makes its way to rivers and streams, and flows back in. The waterfall back into the ocean again, where it is then what? Evaporated, goes back up, goes into the clouds till they get heavy, comes back down, and the whole cycle just happens all the time. So it's sort of, you could almost make arrows that show that the water goes down, water goes up. That's what I call the water cycle. See you next time.